Um, first of all, my apologies to the first channel, uh, panel. Um, I spoke very short during my opening comments as I tried to also <laughs> use up Gerald Beagle's um, space. Uh, and so the, to the extended signature management panel, um, I know you felt uncomfortable as you would sitting on the battlefield for uh, an extra period of time as, as you sat up there and answered more questions. Um, but your description of the um, ubiquitously networked information environment was just spot on. Um, and probably the biggest thing that I took out of this was this was not so much about the technology that we would be using in this space, but just as much as the TTPs and having the concept of employment um, and thinking about things like counter deception that are going to be so critical uh, to success in this area. Um, the, the next panel, social media influence and global affairs. Wow. Um, one of the things here is, you know, we tend to think as an army, we, we, we start organizing around ourselves uh, and thinking about how we're going to operate when in fact it was brought up, hey, our partners and allies really are the target. We're not the target space. And so what can we do? And we heard this echoed again in Honorable Rubin's statement. What can we do to build resiliency with our partners? What do they understand about the information environment and the, and the cultural aspects that maybe we are missing? That, and then how do we complement what, what they can do in this space? And I thought that was um, brought out. The other thing, two things that I, I collected was, um, hey, we are sub-optimizing on the public affairs side of the house. And we heard that again in a number of other panels and speakers as well. We've got a story to tell. It's a really good story. The image of, of a Thai parachutist and a US soldier, right? That's pretty powerful. We should use that. But the deliberate planning that has to take place, there's an intentionality behind this that we would be served well by. And the, and the last thing was, if you're going to actually campaign, right? This is not a one and done kind of deal. And then you're assessing whether or not that's effective. A social media campaign, and the quote was social media, but I, I'm going to say just if you're going to do, make progress in the information environment, it's a two to five, it's a three to five year, I think was the quote from uh, the speaker. And you're going to be assessing that as you go along. Um, we moved into the third panel, and I actually thought I recruited Mr. Bang to be the moderator, but he ended up being a participant as well. I think he actually paid Stephen Riley to quote his data bill of materials. Uh, and, um, and wow, absolutely phenomenal panel. I thought potentially that the technical aspects of this panel, while I understood as, as, a, as a technology person that data was central to this discussion, I thought the actual technical aspects of this would be a non sequitur among all the other operational considerations that we were talking about. And these guys absolutely killed it. Um, not to mention the fact that we're all going back to look up Ed Cow's, um, he's trending in a Google search right now for causal influence. Um, we're also looking up superconducting computing and a whole bunch of other things. Um, but I, I thought that was a really well done panel, uh, smallest panel of them all, and they absolutely killed it. Uh, panel number four, um, all of our joint uh, partners, and then um, also uh, Paul Krzyzewski uh, talking about just showing up. And again, reiterating that fact that we have a really positive story to tell. We are not going to really be able to uh, make progress in this area unless we just start doing. And, um, and I think also um, uh, General O'Hearn uh, mentioned the fact that, you know, it's, it's not a problem until it's a problem. If you don't actually start working on this, you will have a problem. And I, I think we can accept that as a, as a matter of faith. Um, Honorable Rubens, um, uh, honestly, a lot of his comments at the end um, really did uh, echo, without his even being here, 
really did feed off each one of the four panels and really brought it back up to the strategic level. And the possibility and some really concrete examples of how the Department of Defense and the Army as we stand up the TIAG capability, um, how we can actually bring that to, be to bear and be synchronized with the interagency. And so my friends here today, AUSA, the sponsors, everybody who participated in the panel and everybody who stayed engaged and asked questions, thank you very much on behalf of CAC. And I don't know, Brian, if you wanna say anything, you're good. Uh, thank you very much. And the last thing I wanna do is, where's Lieutenant Colonel Boyle? Is he in the room? He's hiding. All right. I don't actually make any of this happen. Uh, Colonel Babbage, he doesn't make any of this happen either. Um, we only get this done through really hardworking field grades and, and other folks in our organizations who put the hard work in to really orchestrate all of this. And I wanna thank you very much. Thank you. Since the commander used the, uh, the mic, I guess I'll stand here too. So, um, you know, in, in addition to uh, everybody who put, helped put this together from the AUSA, CAC, and uh, Army Cyber Team, raise your hand. Come on, let's give them all a round of applause. We get to stand up and wave at the crowd and all the other stuff. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of great topics. I want to reiterate what she talks about. But thanks so much to our two sponsors, uh, Ceiling Tech. We know we can't do all these things. And this is just a start, okay? We did this last year. We did this this year. We want to continue the dialogue and discussion. So as you see, the Senior Executive Roundtable requests the other hot topic discussions. We want you to participate, all right? We need you to participate. And our nation and our nations need you to participate. And to that end, July 16th, we have a new report featuring William Nance, the author of Commanding Professionalism. You can watch that online. We have a coffee series July 23rd featuring Lieutenant General Ganey, Commanding General of the United States Army Space and Missile Defense Command. 3rd of July, another new report featuring Dr. Lester Martinez, Assistant Secretary of Defense for Health Affairs. September 4th, we're playing an aviation hot topic similar to this. We're talking about uh, everything aviation. And then the Pierre de Resistance, the annual meeting, the best one ever. We expect to see all of you there so we can make it 45,000 people instead of 40,000 this year. So please be safe over the holiday and, and remember why we do what we do. Thank you so much. <laughs>